Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Francis Carrera. I'm an assistant professor of anatomy at Massa Medical School. I used to be the curator of the hominid paleontology at the National Museums of Kenya, and I worked there for about four years. As I teach, I also conduct research. Uh, normally, or most of the time during the summers, I usually travel back to Africa where I spend a couple of months in the field looking for fossils. When you think about fossils, think about life forms. Just as you walk around, when you take a tour or when you're driving around, you see environments with animals. Basically what we see in fossils is a representation of that environment that, was that is basically preserved in the earth class in form of fossils. So the first way uh, we have a fossilization process where we call palm mineralization or pet petrification. And this means uh, the body or the, the tissue inside the organs, plants and animals, is replaced by minerals. And when it's replaced by minerals, when we go out there, we will find a representation of what used to be a live organ scene presented as minerals or sometimes as logs. Sometimes we have what we call the trace fossils. And when you think about trace fossils, these include things like footprints. So when they are preserved and they are covered by sediment and later they are exposed, then also we include those as, as, as fossils. We have another form of fossils we call molds and casts. And this involves a situation where you find living organisms. Mostly these include things like shells. They get covered by sediment. The organic component is eroded away and they are, yeah, what you are left with is something that looks like a space, what we call a mold. At the same time, you will find these spaces filled with uh, minerals and sediments, which eventually actually become fossilized, so we get what we call casts. Other forms of fossils, which is uh, actually one of the best ways we find fossil preserved, uh, lizards, reptiles, and most of them actually replaced by carbon. It's nothing more than saying the whole body goes transformation and all the elements are, are replaced by carbon. We have another form of fossilization and this is mostly in some excluded areas, mostly in far latitudes. And you, in this case, you find the whole animal preserved, including the feathers, including the soft tissues. You have these uh, ancient mammals and mastodons that are usually preserved and when they are recovered, basically it's like recovering uh, something that died a few, uh, a few days. Most important thing, if you're interested in fossil, we have actually people as young as four years old who have discovered, who have made major discoveries of fossils. This is really, really exciting field. Anyone who has passion of nature walking around, you can walk around and find something that turns out to be very, very important discovery. So this is really, really interesting field where you see a window of what was happening many, many million years ago. I hope you enjoy it.